Chufla al centro. Only one and one. And five, six, seven and one. Okay, now we'll rotate. Hello, welcome to another Beginners Cuban Salsa class with La Suerte Dance School. Michal and Ola will teach you today another move, another combination, few more new behaviors for beginners. The last time we did Dilekeno and Guapea. So we showed you how to move from closed position to open position and how to stick to a basic step in open position. Today we will do everything exactly opposite so we'll teach you enchufla and enchufla al centro. Let's start. We finished last episode telling you that we'll go through uh, the following and leading in the Lecano. This version of the Lecano we are showing you right now and that we showed you in the previous episode. It's not the perfect solution and we'll show you the better one, but for now, the first element of leading the Lecano is me stepping forward and whole of my body is giving the signal. So I step forward and then open, and at this point I give a push. Push, tick, poco. When we land in Guapea, we both start back, but the wrist is acting as well. Back, cheeky, hop, and touch, six, seven, and back, tiki, hop, and touch, six, seven, and back, and five, six, seven, and back, and five, six, seven. Now, we landed in open position. We know how to swap from close to open. Now we'll have to go all the way back. So we'll show you step first. Five, six, and two flat. One and two flat, tick. Five, six, seven. Two and two flat, al centro. Five, six, seven. And cheeky, cheeky, open. And cheeky, cheeky, open. We'll go through it slowly. First of all, and two flat step. Maybe let's face this way for a moment. That will be a bit weird perspective, but if you check our beginner's steps classes, we've done a chufla step and we'll show you how it works as a couple. So we'll both rotate and we'll both rotate opposite direction. I'll go back with the left foot, she'll go back with the right, and we'll kind of mirror each other. Five, six, both back, back, cheeky, hop, and back, cheeky, hop, and back, cheeky, hop, and back, cheeky, hop, and back, cheeky, hop and back, cheeky, hop, and back, cheeky, hop, and five, six, seven, and one, two, three, and five, six, seven. Yes, Ola is laughing a bit because it's uh, quite a weird step to do by yourself, um, but it works exactly the same way when we dance as a couple. So I'm holding only one hand, the same hand as in Guapea, so mine left, her right. The hand is swinging, going a bit down, and then in front of her face and rotating. Now. At the same time, I go behind, my, behind her back and my right hand will stop her and block. One, two, three, and block six, seven. One, two, three, and block six, seven. And one, two, three, and block six, seven. All I is styling this free hand, it goes up and outside, and up and outside, and up. And outside, six, seven, and tick, ticky, poco, and one, two, three, and five, and one, two, three, and five. Okay. Um, you can use this move on the, on the party. If you do it as many times as we did now, uh, probably your partner will get disappointed. Ideally, we would like to limit this to, let's say, maximum three repeats. Another thing is that when we call this move, uh, we call it enchufla, and we add number of repeats after. If it's only enchufla, it's one repetition. Enchufla doble, we do it twice. Enchufla triple, we do it three times. Yeah? So, for example, enchufla triple, five, six, seven, one enchufla, hop block, five, six, seven, two enchufla, hop block, five, six, seven, three enchufla, hop, and now we'll go to al centro, chiki chiki hop, and chiki chiki hop. So, how to do enchufla al centro? The last repetition we are doing, um, we do only half of it. So we swap places on one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, and after that, I pull her to myself. Step, step, step. Three steps, not really stationary, kind of closing position towards each other. 
And from here we start our basic side. Cheeky, cheeky left, and cheeky, cheeky right. Cheeky, cheeky left, and cheeky, cheeky right. And cheeky, cheeky D like I know. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. Five, six, go back, uh, back, cheeky, cheek. Hop and two flat doble al centro. Hop. Five, six, seven. Second and two flat pull. Step, step, step. And one, two, three. And five, six, seven. And one, two, three. And five, six. Nice one. We'll do exactly the same, but facing this way. So D like a this way, and then you'll see a uh, side of us during and chufla. Five, six, basic. One, two, D like a hop and go. One, two, three, five, both back, back, cheeky, guapea, front, six, seven, back, cheeky, hop, and chufla, triple, one, two, al centro, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, finish, hop, five, six, seven, and chick, chick, hop, and chick, chick, hop, and one, two, three, and five, six, seven, and now I think you could see clearly uh, all our styling. Okay, one more thing to mention. Uh, Ola convinced me to tell you that. When we do our intermediate classes, we do guapea forward this way, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, five, six, seven. This step requires a lot more um, leading and following practice. And before we get there, we'll stick to our basic version when we go both back and both from from beginner perspective this step is a lot easier um, and we'll keep using it for time being um, in the future we'll teach you another one no problem we'll do a transition a couple of times between D like an guapea and then I'll call enchufla enchufla doble enchufla triple so you have an idea how it works in general five six basic one two stick to the basic for a bit longer one two D like an five six seven one, two, three, five, go back, back, cheeky, cheek, and front, cheeky, poco, back. We can stay in this step also for as long as we want, and five, six, seven. However, in the party setup, five, six, seven, it would be boring again, five, six, seven. So one and two flat doble, five, six, seven, one and two flat hop, five al centro, one close position, pull her closer, and we land in the first Step again, take it, five, six, seven, one, D like Keno, hop and go, and one, two, three, five, six, seven, and back, and now, and chufla al centro, only one, straight away, close it, five, six, no coming back, take it, five, six, seven, and one more time, the same, five, six, D like Keno, one, two, three, five, six, seven, and one, and chufla, triple al centro, chiki, chiki, pum, chiki, chiki, kukum, Chiki chiki kum, chiki chiki kukum, finish chiki chiki kum, and chiki chiki kukum, and one, two, three, and five, six, great. We'll dance it with music and we'll combine it also with all other moves we learned so far. We'll do it both directions. Uh, after a couple of repeats, we'll rotate other way so you'll see both ways. One, three, five, six, seven, and king, king, kuku, king, king, kuku, and one, two, three, five, six, seven, and just basic and D like an old front. And one, two, three, step, step, go back and back, tick, tick, front, six, seven, back, tick, and chufla, doble, one, al centro, six, seven, one, and pull, five, six, seven, and chick, chick, cuckoo, chick, chick, cuckoo. Chick, chick, D like an O, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, five, six, go back, and back, chicky, chick, front, chicky, poco, now, and chufla al centro, only one, and one, and five, six, seven, and one. Okay, now we'll rotate, one, D like an O, hop, one, five, six, seven, and one, and chufla triple, al centro, go. One and two flat hop, five, six, seven, two and two flat hop, five, six, seven, three and two flat hop, finish, nyum, and ping, ping, paka. And one more time, just and two flat al centro hop, one and two flat hop, sorry, now, one and two flat hop, 
five, six, seven. I'll do it again because I messed up counting one. Five, six, seven. We start with D like you know. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, five. Go back, go back, go up, go up, go Five, six, seven, and one, and two. Fly al centro, hop, king, king, ka, and start reviewing. One, la chica, hop, el chico, guys, hop, los dos together, hop, six, seven, and one, and di like no hop, and one, el guapea, bo, back, and back. And five, six, seven, and one, and two, flat, doble, al centro, go. Nya, nya, tigi, nya, nya, tigi, nya, nya, tigi, finish. Hop, and chick, chick, left, and chick, chick, right, and chick, chick, left, and chick, chick, right. We'll rotate everything. Six, seven, and one. La chica, hop. El chico, hop. Los dos, hop, six, seven, and one, arriba, six, seven, and king, king, pa, king, king, small step, so I can still, abajo, abajo, five, re reverse camera, or split it, and five, six, seven, abajo, and al centro, six, seven, and I don't think we ever showed this step from this perspective, and be like, you know, Six, seven, back, one, five, six, seven, and one more time, and two flat, triple, al centro, go, and one, six, seven, and one, six, seven, last time, hop, six, seven, and king, king, cuckoo, king, king, cuckoo, and king, king, cuckoo, and king, king, great. Okay, so, one of the goals is achieved with this class. So we can complete now uh, the basic salsa loop. Start from close position, do something in it, open position, turn into guapea, and then come back to the beginning. This is not very complicated loop. I would say it's uh, very simple, um, but it's very correct at the same time. I would advise you guys that when you're learning how to dance, that you master these elements. Practice them, them as many times as you need just to be confident and fluent. And these simple things will benefit you in future massively. Dancing salsa is not about complicated moves, at least not at the beginning, or even in future probably not as well. Complicated moves are fun to do once for a while. And it's quite impressive to see people doing complicated moves. However, it is very, very discouraging to dance with a person who tries to show off and does these complicated moves without all these basics that we are talking about now. Yeah? So I think this is the most frustrating thing from a girl, girl point of view. She gets a partner that thinks that he's king of the dance floor and does a million different moves that don't make sense. No, first of all, get the logic behind it. Make sure your steps are fluent, smooth, in the rhythm, and then you can move on from there. So, if you would like to become a king of the dance floor, just a real one, uh, don't miss our next videos. We'll come back with next one. So, like, subscribe, and press the bell. Like, subscribe, and press the bell. Follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. You can become patron of our channel. You'll find all links in the description. You can also get our beginner's guide if you would like to progress a bit quicker. That definitely will help you. I can guarantee that. Um, we'll see you in next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.